can't see her face because This weekend is a fun weekend because we have a three-day weekend at work, so I'm making the most of it. We went wildflower picking this morning. It was just a nice, peaceful time out there. It wasn't too harsh or like with the sunlight, and it wasn't hot. It was like the perfect weather to spend an hour outside picking and admiring wildflowers with Phil. Phil would wander off and like come back with his cute little pickings and it's like a property that they just let you come onto their to their land and like pick flowers and they have a greenhouse and all this but we just stuck out front today um because it's still like kind of early there wasn't too much we'll probably go back in like a month or two and uh you know see what flowers are blooming then and now i am about to be off i'm going meeting with a friend we're going up on the mountain and just gonna vibe out in nature for a little while like we might be trying to watch the sunset not sure it might be too cloudy depends and yeah really just everything in between there it's just been relaxing a little bit did some yoga kind of tweaked out my lower back um sleeping woke up and it was just aching so i'm intending to that and phil has been cleaning a little bit so we don't have to worry for the rest of the weekend about trying to be clean and a lot of plans, <laughs> a lot of plans this weekend. Tomorrow we have an engagement shoot and I'm meeting a friend in the morning before the engagement shoot and then I'm having another friend come over after the engagement shoot. So Monday is going to be like another, like a more of a chill day for me at least. I don't know if Phil has any plans going on or anything, but I am gonna meet up with my mom Monday morning, maybe. Um, she's not as much of an early bird as I am, but she wants to watch sunrise. So we might be able to catch sunrise from their new place over the balcony. <sighs> lots of beauty, lots of time in nature, a lot of time in nature, and yeah, yep. And I also got uh, my tripod fixed, kind of. I was missing a piece to mount my camera onto my tripod, and now it's mounted. So I am happy. I'm going to carry this around, and yep. <laughs> All right, make it go on.
We have mantis babies. You see them? It's our second generation of uh, mantis since we've lived here. Our, we, we knew we could identify our mother mantis. Well, we thought he was a, we thought she was a he. We called him Larry because he had <laughs> partially missing antenna. Later did we find out that it was more of a Loretta. Loretta! <laughs> and uh, you know, Loretta stayed with us throughout the entire growing season and then she laid two egg sacs and that there is now the second generation of our mantis family, our good bugs, taking care of our plants for us. Look at this, look how big and beautiful this rose is. Tangerine Scott. We have the herbs. This is Spellbird. Still smells really nice. Yeah. Even, even when it's wilting, it's, or not wilting, it's dying. Or the petals are dying. Ugh, it smells delectable. I like to save these. Oh! Yeah, his petals just fell off. I'm gonna put him down. For herbs, we have a little bit of sage right there, but the chamomile is everywhere. Crazy. And then our beautiful calendula. Calendula comes in clutch for those moon cycles. And then lavender. And I'm just gonna mainly harvest the calendula and the chamomile. professional herbalist or anything by any means at all. I just harvest, I wash them just to wash the bugs out <clears throat> and I let them dry with very bare minimal tools and I have little like pots and cups like labeled for them to just go in um, until I put them in like jars or something but we just have old pots that we're not using for any plants so I'm just gonna rinse them and then I'll put them in the little pots and I'll show you what it looks like in the little pots. It's very cute. period um june 10th kind of marked it's like three months to the wedding time's flying something phil and i were talking about earlier this week though was that we're kind of like obviously we're excited to get married to each other and everything like that but we're also ready for the wedding to be over and to not have something to be looking forward to if that makes sense to just go back to our regular scheduled program of living life day by day tending to our garden, you know, taking care of our health and deepening my sauna and like just having, 
just woke up and I'm like, what? Clearing my throat, sorry. And we just like feel like life is flying because we're looking forward to this one date. And when you're not really looking forward to anything, life can just kind of feel chill. So it's like we're ready for both of the things and for the honeymoon and then to just not be worrying about needing money for all of these things. <sighs> Planning go wedding is stressful. And I'm like, I'm like kind of over it because I get overwhelmed just easily. Like, I can't. My brain can only fathom so much going on at once. And um, I guess the best thing all I can do is to keep keep up with my spiritual maintenance. Um, just like dropping in with myself and keeping my nervous system regulated and taking care of my health and things. But I'm basically keeping my schedule clear throughout this whole summer to just like like, we, we plan random meets and stuff like that, and a lot of phone calls to be made, and just, I, I just, I just get overwhelmed kind of easy, and maybe it's just because of this time period, and then afterwards, I won't be so overwhelmed. Um, <clears throat> but that's been, that's kind of been life lately. It's been, like, chill, but at the same time, it's also been, like, <laughs> like, oh my gosh, a wedding, we're getting married soon. And I just can't wait to celebrate the divine union of my love with Phil, of our love, of our life. And we just wanted to, like, be here. And just everything is ready, bada bing, bada boom, type deal, so... But, um, been trying to enjoy summer at the same time with inflation and everything going on. It's actually been very hard, very hard financially. And we can't take too many road trips and stuff like that, but we try to make the most out of our area. And... But so far my favorite thing, my favorite moments have just been when I can drop in into my body, into my nervous system, into my mind and aura, energy, kind of tune, tune in, center myself and ground down. Um, yeah, I've just been putting a lot of emphasis on that because it's like I need it. I'm going to need it. But um, I think I'm going to end the vlog here because... There are some things, like, we have, later we're meeting up with our families, but, like, like, I know my family at these, at this point, they don't care when they're on camera, but, like, his family, it's still, like, I'm not just gonna put a camera in their face or just be, like, they'd be, like, what are you doing? Um, it's, it's one of those weird, I think, like, YouTuber things where it's, like, is this okay to vlog you? Um, <clears throat> I don't want it to be weird or want it to seem unnatural to them so I'm probably not going to film that probably just going to be present for that session of wedding planning mainly just working on catering and stuff like that um, and yeah I'm tired but I'm not if that makes sense I'm just really needing rest so I'm just gonna do me and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, weekend, week, month, whatever. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti